Alrighty, so next up on the list is going to be the first, well, major glitch in the run. Uh, this is going to be a door storage. Um, door storage can be done in two ways. You can do it with a single storage, which would not give you the ability to save the game at the end of it. So you would need another way of canceling the uh, glitch state that you enter. The most typical way to do that is having a rappel run out. Um, but for the speed run, we're going to do a double menu storage and then do a door storage off of that. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and set up a double storage, which you should know how to do from the last video. And you're going to back out to this menu. This is the one where you have access to movement. So if you hear, you can hear I'm moving around in the background. Um, what you need to do is hit the door of your house and then hit the B button right after you hit the door. It's a very lenient timing window. You'll get used to it the more you do it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my door and hit the B button. And after you do that, uh, back out of the menus. And you should see that your door is open. You can see right there, my door is opened. Um, and I can move around. And what this does is I can't interact with anything anymore. So you can see I can't go in this house. Uh, I'm in the weird state. We call it a door glitch state. I, I can't get encounters. I can't fight trainers. Uh, there's a lot of things you can't do in door storage. And the reason why we need to have the uh, second menu storage is so that I can save the game in a little bit. Uh, so you can see I don't get the Pokedex cutscene when I run through here. I'm not going to have to talk to Dawn. I can just like go right past her. When I head up here, no trainer fights. Uh, no trainer fights. Still no wild encounters. And I'm going to get all the way into Jubilife. And the current route for the speedrun, you're going to save in front of the center. Obviously, this is probably going to change tomorrow. But uh, for now, this is the application of door storage in the run. And also a little bit of an explanation on how we use door storage. So then once you save the game, uh, I can't pause. Like pausing is disabled. I can't interact with anybody. Um, like all kinds of like cutscenes and stuff don't play. Like if I go over here, this guy's not going to push me back. Barry's not going to fight me. Uh, that's why you needed to have that menu storage. So you just go ahead and save, close the software, open the software, and we are back. So once I reload, the game will be totally normal. I'll show it off really quick just to, I guess, prove it, but. Yeah, that's how you use door storage for the, at least the current route. Go ahead and load up the game. Save and resets are really slow in this game, so we try to avoid them as much as we can. But uh, that's typically why when we do door storage, uh, we want to have repels so that you can just run out the repel to have the door storage state end. So let's go ahead and hopefully load up into the game here. And as you can see, now I have access to my menus, and I'm in Jubilee early.